Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the House of Nonsense and Shenanigans, uh, sometimes referred to as Crawler Canyon, where we do what we must because we can for pseudo science. You know that it is time to acknowledge that you might have a problem uh, when you start buying tires for rigs that don't exist. Uh, buying tires that you don't need, there's no place for me to put these tires, but I bought them anyway. Uh, oh, I've saved the card. RC4 will drive Genius Sem Frontera. Not for use for people under 14. If you know what that is, then you know more than I. Uh, I left one in the package, unvented and everything, because uh, it was it was an imperative. I had to. There are sticky compounds out there. There is Hot Bodies Pink. There's Vanquish Red. J Concepts Green. I don't know if anyone is getting up there with the good old X2SS. And come along with me when I say X2SS and not X2S3, a.k.a. the compound nobody asked for. These are gluey. They are also, they look like those, uh, those trucks that they build that drive really fast through swamps. I think they're called swamp buggies. Uh, they look very much like swamp buggy tires. These are the, the pinnacle and epitome of RC four wheel drive X2 SS stuff, which is, it's like wadding up chewing gum. Uh, are they bubble juice required? Maybe not, but it will, you hear how soft that click was? These are maybe one and a half millimeters thick. Uh, no ribbing, no belting. These are made to do the things. Uh, the other three mounted up phenomenally, and we're gonna, we're gonna do an extra step. We're gonna go things a little bit out of order for this because I keep mounting tires backwards. Um, the foam is, by RC four-wheel drive standards, ultra, super, mega, unmentionably soft. To everyone else, this is pretty much spot on to like a J Concepts medium. So luckily they are going on yellow. They're going on this gentleman here who is just a skeleton, basically. Uh, he is one of the lightest total vehicle gross weight, however they acronym that. He's one of the lightest in the fleet. So we should not have a problem with these foams at all. I was I was already going out of order. I was going to mount this. And uh, I guarantee you I would get... Uh, these are hyper-directional. And no, these would not work backwards. <laughs> I can I can tell you that already. That is that is way too much chevron. The, the one set of tires would be pulling violently against the other. Let's see if they sat together long enough. Yeah. Yeah. Can we hold it from the top one? This this is X two SS. Get that little ASMR. Get a little. Oh, there's one of the wheel screws. Uh, untreated, no, no simple green, nothing. Uh, pull them out of the package, bubble juice them, mount them. These are, uh, also we must remember, don't let me forget. Don't, come on. I'm relying on you as a collective to not let me forget that we need to put one on the... We need to put one on the tire sizer. These are very tall and very skinny. It looks like we're mounting the driver rear. So that will help. Doesn't he look like he should be going really fast through a swamp? Those are tall. Uh, I can't see how these aren't going to uh, generate some angry Lexan noises. I feel like these are going to generate some angry licks and noises. But now we can do this. A little bit of a uh, little bit of bubble juice. Okay, a lot of bit of bubble juice. I did not knock that dauber off as much as I would have liked to. 
goes like that. We drop in the face, which would have been interesting in frame. But they 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 pretty well drop together, and 2.2s will always mount easier, more easily, more easily than 1.9s, uh, because the back tends to be this huge thing. Once you get it past the little edge of the lip, they just they usually just get that lined up. They go clink. They usually just fall together. And X2SS is a compound where the chances of you slipping a bead are, uh, one, one might go so far as to say remarkably low because you mount these and then they'll be on here for a week or two. And if you have to unmount them, uh, the, the tires have basically self glued themselves. Those double bent uh, rear links always look so weird to me. They look bent. They almost look bent. Uh, these are, so there's no decimals. The Sem Frontera brings with it no decimals. And that is a cryptic thing for me to say. Uh, on the sidewall, uh, you'd think we're, we're living in a metric world. 54 times 17 by times 22. Uh, no, it is 5.4 times 1.7 times 2.2. I figured that out all on my own. I really did. So let us, let's see what we're working with. So let's see how close we are to 5.4 and 1.7. Uh, the 2.2 is a, a foregone conclusion. 138, which is, yeah, I mean, five and a half is like 141. Yeah, yeah, I'd call that 5.4. They're pretty much on there. Uh, 41 millimeter, that is skinny. Uh, that's actually a little narrower. That is one and nine sixteenths. So that is a, that is a skinny boy. And definitely in line with things like comp pins, bully comps, where we've got, I mean, a little bit, but in general, we have nothing on the sidewall. This is all main tread doing the main work. This offset wheel should roughly approximate his normal wheel offset. I just think that due to the increased size, he tends to run a either a 1.9 rupture or a 2.2 tusk LP, both of which are like LP is one step down, 1.9 rupture is another step down. So these are these are big relative to what he ordinarily runs, not in width, obviously, but in height. And the height is the thing that tends to cause problems. At least height, tire height tends to be where uh, angry Lexan noises come from. We can see here on the bench right quick. Let's see. Oh, it might not be too bad. Yeah, I mean, we'll get a little, but it's not going to go. He is a. Uh, CG's got to move up a little. Those are, those are some bigger boys. I'm assuming that these tires are for like Moas and Sporties and things like that. I don't know what these are for, but they said genius on the sidewall and they were X2 SS and they were on like, like the regular price had a little red slash through it and they were like $5 a pair cheaper. So these were very much in line with any other tire that I might purchase. So I said to myself, yes, I think I will. The RC four-wheel drive genius Sem Frontera in 2.2. Skinny, skinny winnies, little narrow tractor boys. They're going to run the gauntlet, the Canyon Tire Test Peroto Call. And we are going to see. We have not been let down by X2SS. If it comes in X2SS, it is the knees of the proverbial bees. And uh, I have no expectations of this being different. I don't think Yella will throw enough weight to fold these over, like on side hilling. But we're going to see. We are going to see. And when, you might ask? Right about now. I just have them written down on the tire test card as genius, genius. 
They're very shiny. They're also very skinny. But again, this is X2SS. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get my brain, I gotta get my brain on Yella here. Also, this is a tall tire, so uh, my throttle application is going to be a little brisk until I kind of get the hang of it. Right through here, all I'm really trying to see is what do the, what does the low speed look like? What does the deflection of the insert look like? There's not, there's no wander in the front end right there. Okay, get around that side. Then I want to cut the shuttle back this way. Okay, a little fall back, a little fall back, but okay, turning into more. There we go. Yeah, it's it, it's a no side lug thing. When when you're when you're getting into that no side lug and no angry Lexan noise, uh, you you definitely have to approach some lines differently. Yeah, a little bit of full lock. Yeah, a little full lock there. Ground clearance should be ridiculous. And of course I get it stuck almost immediately. This is kind of like putting on portals. Because we're, we're picking up a decent amount of ground clearance. Just, you know, no gear reduction or any of that fun stuff. We've got gear amplification going. Yeah, these are these are X2 SS. These are these are solid. And on a tiny little nub of an outrunner on these, I think because we're not putting a ton of weight into it, we're gonna get we're gonna get some electronic anchor for the drag brake. We will test dig as well. I don't see anything here to complain about at all. Like that's just, yeah, we're gonna get a little roll on nose down. Is it gonna be able to hold that out? Yeah, a bigger tire is the same loss of mechanical advantage that going down in gearing is. So it's, he's got a little short, little baby outrunner in there though. Same. So we'll go towards more stuff. Okay. That, that amount of like, I was a moment away from saying that amount of Chevron, but no, these are just, these are just Chevron tires. We're getting about the, just about the right amount of deflection in the rear. I'm, I'm still coming to grips with the quickness. They, they, I guess the tire itself is relatively light compared to what he ordinarily runs because it feels real they feel very snappy. They're really responsive. Get it over on the side here. Yeah, and definitely not getting a lot, uh, any over collapse. Um, he's in that like low to mid fives, and uh, that that insert feels just about right. I, ordinarily, I don't like to roll out here on single stage foams if I don't have to, but as you saw. Uh, 41 millimeters external, but 130, 839 tall. I don't have an insert to fit that. He's not overwhelmingly fast. He's just a bit quicker than what I'm typically used to. Oh, hey, were you wondering where I left my uh, Corona shears? Uh, there they are. They're right under his driver front. Ooh, ooh, come on, stay up on it. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, don't bring the shears. You don't need them. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Uh, again, them smooth, smooth sidewalls. Uh, the center is just cutting. This is like spaced out Baja claw, but tall. Tall claws. We're gonna come around. We're gonna do a side swing. There. Oh yeah. When you get into that spot where it's just, 
compound, uh, there's there's no hesitation. X2SS is the the pajama jam, and we've yet to find a tire that doesn't sing its own song in X2SS. I don't. I think I'll be able to place this pretty much wherever I want. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, and X2SS, much like any other compound, it needs a little bit of feather, right? So we're we're on that crisp, that super crisp front edge, and it's still like just pull, okay. I want I wanted to come across this side to use a little bit of that. Oh man! Okay, that's gonna pull under. Oh no, it's not. Oh my gracious. Something's gonna have to, like, we know Yella's not a good self writer. Uh, we're gonna have to see something to start pulling these scores down, because this thing is throwing down some numbers. Every time Yella comes out on another tire, I'm like, well, now I want that one. And now I want that one. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna come that's gonna come over high guy. Let's just do dumb stuff, come on. <laughs> Chevrons do like a dig. I don't feel I mean we're coming opposite direction here. This is kind of a newer addition. Okay, right here. What what's the pop gonna look like? This this is a rollout maneuver. We're steering up the hill. We got just enough slide through it. Yeah, it, well, here's the problem. If we have a problem that's experiencing, we're looking for grip and slip. What's happening is the tire on the low side is folding over a little bit and we're just getting on to smooth, smooth sidewall. And uh, then we just slide. Uh, but on the return trip, that may well minimize the uh, tendency to over grip the low side and roll over the tire. So I want to see what that fold looks like if I can see the fold coming this way. Almost, almost caught it, almost caught it. Transitioned off, caught it mid transition. The, the, the big transition at the end of the side hill is called yellows. Okay, that's real high, that's real high. Oh, very tricky, very, very tricky. Oh, the turning circle. You know, we're talking element axle, caster flipped. Well, SSD diamonds, so same, same sort of an affair. Okay, I'm gonna try lower in through here. It's that first transition. Yeah, I can see that front sliding on the sidewall. Still sliding. Okay, but once we're through that little drop in. Okay, this transition is called yellows. I wanna see what that, how does the weight transfer back? Well, it's got that slip in it. Yeah, it's not, it's not the absolute cleanest through that transition at the end, but it's pretty sharp. It's pretty sharp. And as I mentioned, like digging on hillsides and stuff, no, no tire is, <laughs> is, is asking, is calling out for that. Oh yes, please, please use dig on me on a steep hill. Yeah, these X2SS, man. You got to do dumb, dumb to, 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 to upset them. Yeah. Uh, the side hill is honestly as anticipated. Let me know. Do you like tree pollen? Do you like tree pollen that falls in such absurd quantities that it builds up like snow drifts? And also, for fun bonus, smells a little bit like household bleach. It's oh, lovely. The tree of heaven, AKA stink trees. Uh, sometimes in the frame, you'll get to see the little pollen nuggets falling from the sky, like the aforementioned uh, Roughly whiz colored snow. 
and it, it builds up in drifts. Good on the descent. It sticks to the tires. It bounces off me hat. Uh, honestly, I, th oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought we'd see a little bit more drive on that angle coming up that side. And uh, then it was like, <laughs> grab. And away, and away it went. Yeah, it's positionable to the point where the tire is not trying to impart any kind of directionality on its own. And I'm guessing that's the the, the width, the skinny width. You have you there's a lot I'm I'm feeling I'm putting in a lot more steering input, right? Not 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 in terms of uh amplitude, like not side to side, but like let, let, let me see. Oh, yeah. Hit it with your knee. Let me see. Like, you're, you're doing this. You're going. You're just getting those tires to find that exact spot. And uh, I don't... I don't... Somewhere between where we're sitting right now and where we were sitting before uh, is the board. It should be hanging right here. <laughs> the board's laying on the ground somewhere. I was about to write down numbers. Uh, this is... And I've stated this before about other tires, a driver's tire. Uh, so far, this tire hasn't done, has, n has succeeded in doing everything I've asked of it. I almost like triple negative there. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's proper good. It, uh, it's proper good to the point where it kind of harkens back to tire designs of yore. When I headed out towards the course uh, this morning, I had thought perhaps foolishly, we can beat it. We can beat the sun before it burns off that marine layer. Uh, and yes, that was foolish. The temperature has risen like 10 degrees in the last 40 minutes uh, because it burned through the, that delicious overcast that we had. Now we are, we're in the full blast. Yeah, so sticky. Sidewall might be as smooth as a baby, but a sticky baby and I do love a chevron oh we you know what we could use oh I don't know dig yeah there you go this is a uh, a bonus semi intangible uh, which is how do tires respond to dig because we can't test dig on every tire we don't have dig on every rig that was nice uh, these do really well uh, tires with a with a determinedly directional tread uh, tend to do really well on dig. The only thing that tends to stop them is like they have too much grip. Oh, good gravy! Uh, <laughs> he exclaims. Oh yeah, these these. Oh, don't get into too much. No. We dug, we dug our way into trouble right there. Okay, get up over that top. Get up over that top. They do have a little bit of Porsche action to them. We've got the Starsky. How much do they squeak on the bench mat? We've got the Porsche action, which is everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's not fine. That's, that's the Porsche action. Everything is going great. And then all of a sudden, before you can finger twitch it back the other way, uh, it's too late. These have a little bit of that. They, they, get, a little, they get a little wonky, and uh, that is, I think, either entirely or in part due to uh, the height. So you'll get to a point and you'll get some sidewall load that, it, like imperceptible sidewall load. The X2SS is so sticky, it's sticking you down. So you don't think anything's wrong. And then all of a sudden the sidewall goes, not today. And, and away you go. But it's a razor's edge tire. You, you can put this tire out to the very, very edge of what traction will hold. And it will just do it. We, we did well enough across that side that we, we go the impossible right here. Because you've got to get up across there, over that face. And you have to have enough grip to pull that top and get that bottom tire right there. Oh my. 
They they have a there's an industry term for that. It's called doing the thing. So yellow's got a pretty decent amount of overdrive. Underdrive, you can see how the the rear tires will sometimes do a little stroboscopic effect with the speed differential. Uh, on open ground at full throttle, he does a little uh, beach ball bouncy thing, like he kind of he kind of he kind of he kind of hops across the ground when wide open because we've got traction. I, I still, I always wonder, like, what if this had chevrons on the sidewall as well? Like little, little, little ribs, little chevron, little pointed ribs on the side. What would it do? Would it mess up that, that slidiness that we kind of take advantage of? Or would it give us those moments where right here, if I had just a little bit of lug out on the side, yeah, the positionability on this tire is, for a tire without side lug, we've just got a little tiny little bit of shoulder lug. For a tire this smooth on the sidewall, the positionability is bonkers. It's, it's up above and also it's X2SS. That was, and here's the thing that might not translate via, via camera. It looked like he struggled a little bit both sides of Daphne's, but he didn't because I was manually positioning him the whole way. The tire never once said, I'm going to go this way or alternately that way. He went the way I wanted it to go, which is paramount for a tire, really. Yeah, any, and, and, and this is what we're doing. So we can get to a spot, let's see if it'll do it here. Okay, we can get the pub up, pub up, pub up, pub up, right? As soon as you put any attitude on that lug, get it moving to the side, gone. So that's the power of chevrons. You, you just, you gotta put a little English on it. So you will find yourself on these, you will find yourself varying throttle tension and just constantly working the steering wheel to give them bite, to give them bite, 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 bite. This is a, this is the, a, a manual transmission tire amongst a sea of modern era CVTs. They are happiest in, in each instance, in every little separate instance, the tire is happy with a different throttle input and a different amount of steering input for each individual little situation, which leads to an excess of versatility in my mind. Oh. Oh, you you have to give it so little. Uh, these are 20% bumps. Let's get let's can we can we donkey? Yeah. But you never have to get there. I mean, the lower and slower a tire can do something, that tells us more about the compound and the pattern. This is a compound and a pattern that are singing together. And beyond that, in purely in just RC four wheel drive terms, if we're isolating everything else and just looking at RC four wheel drive, I cannot recall, and I am searching the data banks, I can't recall an RC four wheel drive tire foam combo that worked as well as these. Usually the RC four-wheel drive foam is unusable. They cut it out of an old sofa that they found on the side of the road and they shoved them in the tires and you could use them as jack stands. These not just work, these are working. Now it's really difficult to not roof flop him based on the shape of the goat. Like, okay, right here, full lock, trying to flip it. and no added weight to the wheels. He just wants to stay down. There, oh, yep. Yeah. <sighs> Next to SS. Now, that was a snap roll. It's, if you, if you learn to catch that. Oh my God. It's a driver's tire, 360 degrees. If you catch this guy mid roll, I don't know if there's a situation, if you, if you get the catch, 
I don't know if there's a situation where you can't self-write this guy. I don't give tens. That is as close to a 10 in self-writing as one can get. You can do the dumbest things and, well, first off, they don't want to roll. Snap, snap, ooh. Every time I drive a new tire on yellow, I don't want him to give those tires up. The yellow, these might be your tires and I don't hear him arguing. Be thankful, all, one and all, that these trees do not grant wishes because I would wish upon you smell -o vision There's even more pollen on the ground over here and it, it really has a bleach, a household bleach smell to it. I never, curse my wife for this. She was like, it smells like bleach. And I was like, no, it doesn't. And then I did a big, and I was like, oh my God, it does smell like bleach. And now it's all I can smell. Hi, oh, you get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. I'm riding a high from the self right. Oh, these pull like, these pull so hard. The question would be, and uh, there is no mud. Uh, and until I build the waterfall, there's pollen all over the microphone. Uh, there will be no mud here until, oh, I don't know. We might see some in like five months, five or six months. We might see some mud out here. Summer has begun. Uh, it is going to be hot and it is going to be dry. Good gravy. Pulling. Just absolutely pulling. That doesn't sound like a chainsaw. I don't know what that, maybe it is. Maybe a trimmer like a big commercial hedge trimmer. Can you get that? I just got a big waft of bleach. I was hoping to come down across the, off the top, off the top rope and uh, get me into a roll position. Let's get right here. For a 5.4 inch tire, it's really difficult to get it to roll. It's just, it's just back to wheels every time. Right there. I mean, this is not the behavior of open cell foam. <laughs> this is not what open cell foam does. Open cell foam over compresses and sideways collapses. Uh, the tie, and as I said, no ribbing, no belting, just doing all of the things. I cannot imagine these suffering that much in wet. And if they live up to my preconceived notion of what they're gonna do in wet, we're gonna see a pretty big score today. No, I think it is a chainsaw. It's just like the lowest idling chainsaw I've ever heard. It's got like, it's got that loping, aggressive cam. It's not what we traditionally hear from a chainsaw. Chainsaws are a little bit, uh, a little bit whiner grinders. I don't, I, ju I just want to see. I want to see a number. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see the thing. Not, not, not full wet yet. We want to get a little, get a little wheel speed on them. Try to get them a little more wetted in. Is this an instance? Yeah. It's just an instance where it cleared the rocks off. Uh, some compounds like it a wet. Some compounds do not. Uh, unsurprisingly, in what is coming as a surprise to perhaps no one familiar with X2SS, uh, these these don't care that this rock is wet. Uh, as far as the genius are concerned, it's just clean now. Remember how much shuttle we got the other time? Let's see. Yeah, less shuttle. Uh, th this is a tire of the ilk of the VXT2 where I would, I would give a moment's consideration to uh, like go up a tenth on wet versus dry. They're, they're, they're if not the same, maybe a little better. We do a perfect combo in which I do math in my head and then I don't tell you, oh, 
I, I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on these again. Hey, little buddy. Focus. We had a perfect focus there. Can we get it to focus all the way through? Yeah. That's what I see when I'm out here. It's like one of those filters you can put on the camera. Uh, I don't tell you what any of the numbers are, and then I do the math in my head. 96.9 for the RC four-wheel drive. Genius. Semlimites. 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 Uh, these tires have a singular drawback. They're 5.4 inches tall. I don't even mind the no side lug. The drawback is that they are 5.4 inches tall, which means your fitment, I mean, you know, I could, oh my goodness. You put these on something like a Capra, <clears throat> that's not right. Uh, some sort of truggy build you got going on, some with four wheel steer. I imagine these would excel. Hey, that's a chainsaw. I imagine these would excel on four wheel steer. They are an improperly good dig tire. They are one of the very, very best at self riding. Self riding poses no issue to these at all. Uh, the angry Lexan noises are where they typically come from. When you, when you fit an oversized tire, they get right into the corner of the bumper right there. So you, you're gonna need something with a little bit of pinch or something that's a little bit wider. These are just Diamond Pros, typical width of a, an element axle, AR44, all that same width. Now, if you had something wider, Capra, F9, uh, H10, something like that. Keep, move it out a little bit, maybe better. Do I think they would respond to having a little bit more weight in them? Like brass rings, heavier wheels? Maybe. Definitely, like a maybe over maybe. That's how that fraction would look because we may have stumbled into an alchemical uh, situation. Oh, I love when they stop for a second. We may have stumbled into an alchemical situation where if you put more weight on that foam and you get more weight crushing down on it, it's going to hurt more than it's going to help. I don't know. I would mount him and run. These are his wheels. These are his tutu wheels. So I would mount them just like this and happily run them. And they will probably stay on him for a little while because he was on 1.9 ruptures. And 1.9 ruptures have a wider range of fitment being right around 5 inches. 5.4 is and skinny. 41 millimeters wide uh, is, is an odd fit. But if you have a rig that will fit this sort of a thing, and these foams work, then you are in the money. If you have to replace the foams, I don't know what to tell you. They are very tall and they are very skinny. And uh, sometimes it's nice when things just work. Sometimes it's nice when I can do an outro without chainsaw guy just going ham. So I will take this opportunity during the, the whiz and the whir to thank you so very much for watching. Uh, tune in for whatever we got next. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment below. Somewhere on the community board, there's a link to the Discord. If you're a channel subscriber or a member, get over to the Discord. You can talk to people who also enjoy toy cars. As usual, check out the affiliate links and all that sort of assorted nonsense. We're going to head back inside because I own an electric chainsaw because I don't cut trees down all day. I use it to trim stuff every once in a while, and its I don't even have to wear Ear Pro. We should be wearing Ear Pro right now. Oh, perfect time to say goodbye, everybody. In between now and when we meet again, please one and all do your very best. Have a good run, everybody. We'll see you next time here from the canyon land of lizards. There's one right over here. Uh, lizards, chainsaws, uh, bleach smelling snow, and all sorts of fantastical things you didn't know that you needed, but here you are. Ah, the mellifluous tones. We'll see you next time.